Greece is developing into an important transit route for oil and gas reaching Europe. The European Union is increasingly nervous about its energy supplies, where they come from and how they get here. The region of Thrace in northern Greece has two major pan-European projects running through it. One is a gas line with a starting point in Azerbaijan and is planned to go as far as Italy. The other is from a port on the Black Sea to the Mediterranean, Burgas to Alexandrupolis, feeding Europe with Russian and Caspian oil and avoiding Turkey. A Greek member of the European Parliament and an official from the Thrace region addressed some of the pertinent points. The priority for the EU and for Greece is the security of the energy supply. We're also still trying and have succeeded in rebalancing our energy resources. The deal with Russia is very important for Greece and the EU. This mustn't be seen as becoming dangerously dependent on Russia. Traditionally, our markets were oriented in that direction, towards the Black Sea and, of course, Russia. We're once again turning that way. The oil pipeline from Burgas to Alexandrupolis is meant to thin out traffic in the narrow Dardanelles Strait, linking the Black and Mediterranean Seas. From 2010, the pipeline should start out carrying 35 million tons of crude per year. Tanker ships would load up in the Aegean to distribute to other parts of Europe. Elected officials and ecologists here are also considering tourism and the environment. The pipeline would end up east of the port of Alexandrupolis, according to the draft plan. Several experts say it should pass to the west of the port, because the water level at the mouth of the Evro River is lower. The pipeline should reach seven miles out into the sea. To the west, the city uses beaches for leisure in summer, and there are more tourist structures. We ecologists feel that placing the outlet to the east or west is the same, because the distances are negligible, and so tourism is bound to suffer. Some of the inhabitants of Alexandrupolis have organized to fight the project. Fishermen also worry about how the area will be affected the number of ships moving up and down the Aegean coast. The big tankers can't navigate empty. They have to have ballast water. Where will they bring it in from? That will alter and harm the sea with toxins when the ballast water is discharged. That will be just a part of the pollution these ships produce. Local fears are being dismissed by the government, which insists the project will bring nothing but good. Uh, we believe that uh, this uh, project, this pipeline, is not suitable for the Aegean Sea uh, because the population dependent uh, on uh, fisheries and tourism uh, living on uh, Aegean coastlines, both in Greece and Turkey, uh, is such to uh, make the risk of an accident uh, really uh, something that we cannot afford, uh, possibly. Uh, we think that uh, this pipeline should be based elsewhere and not in the Aegean Sea. The construction of this oil pipeline will take into account the strictest environmental standards. Not only will no harm come to the region, on the contrary, it will bring development and, of course, create hundreds of jobs, generate complementary and parallel resources. The whole region will develop greatly. What's more, the region of Thrace will benefit, and the community of Evros in particular. A consortium will be entrusted to manage the pipeline's operations. 51% of the shares are in Russian hands and 49% evenly in Greek and Bulgarian hands. This took 14 years to negotiate. The European Commission followed the process closely. For 
For years, the United States saw the Burgas Alexandropolis pipeline as competition for other regional pipelines in which the Americans held an interest. I get the feeling that lately the U.S. and especially American companies have started checking out and maybe taking part in this project. Chevron has shown an interest in the consortium to build the pipeline and later manage its exploitation, just as others have, such as in Kazakhstan. Greece has demonstrated its determination in these developments. The Burgas Alexandroupolis project is competition for an oil pipeline between Azerbaijan, Georgia and Turkey. Greece is even collaborating with its traditional rival Turkey to link their gas pipelines. Russia can also play an important role in Greek-Turkish relations. Bilateral relations must not be seen in terms of confrontation. There are many domains in which we can collaborate, cooperate, play together. The chairman of the European Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee goes further. He extends European energy sustainability and competitiveness to a foreign security context. By more than 50 percent in the coming decades. It became abundantly clear to all. In order to fulfill the three objectives of the nation's European energy policy, namely these of sustainability, security of supply, and competitiveness, we must all get down to the real business of creating a common foreign approach. The market itself, even if it is not distorted, will not resolve all of our problems. Any difficulty, even temporary, having the effect of reducing supplies of energy from third states also causes serious disturbances in the economic activity of the Union and distorts the functioning of the single market. We were recently made aware, however, that the problem of energy security does not concern solely the area of industry or economics. Energy has been used as a political leverage and foreign policy instrument and hence should be discussed in the context of foreign and security policy. When Greece and Bulgaria signed the oil pipeline deal with Russia this year in March, Athens said it put them on the world energy map. Moscow equated supply security with civilization. The EU continues to pursue common energy policies to broaden its options.